I have just finished recording the 330 second swamp speeder video and because I'm actually going out tomorrow, I am recording this video early. This is the first time in months that I've had to record a video early. So it's gonna be so strange not having to record tomorrow because I do record my videos on a daily basis. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at some more Lego Star Wars minifigures. I've already mentioned about the different hairs that can be used countless times. So check out my last video where I replaced 10 Lego Star Wars hairs and that's actually going to be mentioned later on in the video. But today we're looking at more changes to do with different styles of minifigures and rather than just replacing the one piece, actual fixes to most minifigures that Lego could be making because they don't seem too hard. Now that being said, I'm not sure what the Lego restrictions are. So there are a few new pieces that I would like to see, but hopefully Lego can crack down and we can get some of them very soon. First fix is quite an easy one, but don't let that mislead you. The second one is the biggest change in this entire video. And of course, it is adding dual molded legs to their minifigures. We see it countless times in themes like Monkey Kid and some of the other Lego brand themes, but I'm not sure any of these minifigures that you can see on screen actually came with dual molded minifigures. I know a few have them because I've upgraded them, such as this Padme that came in the gunship. For all the minifigures to miss out on the boots, they can't be missing out Padme. Her wardrobe is half of what makes her character so interesting because every time she's on screen, it's a completely different outfit and they can't be forgetting about her boots. Similarly, someone like Yularen or some of the other officers that we've got in cheaper sets, of course, Yularen's in a UCS set. They usually give dual molded legs for them. I'd love to see them in some more accessible sets because these are both legs so far that are on the pick a brick wall. So they're not expensive pieces. And I've also added dual molded legs to my Viz and Captain Antilles again. Both of these are on the pick a brick wall. And for the most part, they're characters that at least get a unique face print. Veer's got a new helmet, Antilles got a brand new torso. So it only makes sense that they would give them some dual molded legs that have been around forever. They're on the pebble, so easily accessible and aren't too hard to just give a few for a set. But perhaps there's something in the Star Wars theme or Lego know that Star Wars fans will be buying build a minifigure minifigures and buying these on the aftermarket, buying these through lego.com and it's a way to make a bit more money. Now next up is, I'm going to be honest, my favourite through the video. Make sure you stick around to the end because there are a few more good ones but I think Yoda needs a complete redo of his minifigure. You probably saw this change in the thumbnail but here we have the Yoda minifigure, I actually give them two plates if they have short legs, one plate if they have mini legs, just so they match up to the height of the other characters. But Yoda's minifigure is massive. I would prefer, rather than that casual minifigure torso and the short legs we got, we did get a brand new sort of toddler torso on one of the CMF minifigures right there in the middle of the Simpsons line, Maggie Simpson. So as you can see, Maggie does still have minifigure arms, but the torso is a bit thinner. It still clips onto two bricks at the bottom, but especially with Yoda's robe, I think this torso with some Yoda printing would work perfectly for a brand new Yoda minifigure. And next year is an anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. We might get a Yoda on Kashyyyk. I'd love for them to use this torso. You can see on screen a very dodgy photo edited of a Yoda using this torso, edited by myself, and I still think it would make the perfect Yoda torso. So if there's any custom printers out there that want to earn a bit more money from original trilogy characters, then we definitely need a new Yoda torso. And personally, I think that's the only improvement they can make to Yoda. I really like the head mold they use, the printing from the last update when we got him in the diorama, for the original trilogy and the Clone Wars torso that they didn't change at all in Yoda Starfighter. There's really not much else they can do about it. I know for a promo he got one of the Hobbit dual molded legs. I don't think that works either. His robe pretty much covers down to his feet unless they're going to give him dual molded green feet but I think that would look a bit too weird for a Yoda minifigure. So I'm happy 
with the single molded legs. We don't need no triple molded leg like Harry Potter has got. I just want that brand new torso element used again because as far as Bricklink, Brick Out and most LEGO databases are aware, it's only been used for the two different Maggie Simpson CMFs. So LEGO haven't found a use for that mold yet, but this one would be great. And the next change is going to be one I don't see LEGO using for the foreseeable future. And that is because of the UCS X-Wing Luke. Now, that minifigure come with arms and legs. And I actually have him on my display to show you. So you can see this minifigure here has printed dual molded legs, printed arms. These are the official Lego ones that I may or may not have taken from the key ring instead of spending a couple hundred pound on the set. But I would love to see these dual molded printed legs on more of the minifigures. I would love to see the arms too, but Lego did say this is an exclusive minifigure. So I would like something to be exclusive. So far, I'm pretty sure most of the UCS minifigures, I think the only exception to exclusive minifigures is the Boba Fett in the old UCS Slave 1. And that was on the Cloud City Master Builders series, I do believe. I believe that was the exact same minifigure. But them dual molded legs look really cool and we could definitely use them for other suits like the Snow Speeder. Next year is the anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, so I'd like to see a Snow Speeder look. These arms can be got off Firestar toys, but we need more dual molded legs in affordable Lego sets. You can't actually take the legs from the Luke keyring and give them to the Snowspeeder Luke because the only addition is that oxygen tube, that special tube in that goes down on his right leg. But I suppose you could always just reuse an X-Wing costume and lose the accuracy. If you're watching this a while after the video has been released, perhaps you've already seen today's short where I build a custom Dark Side Ray that is coming out in the brand new Dark Falcon set. And I have done so many videos on them leaks now, so I'm not going to say any more here. You can find them up on the channel. But something that really jumped out to me about this new Ray minifigure is that she has a black Mandalorian cape. And if you don't know the difference between the regular and Mandalorian capes, you can see Vader here has just jumped out of my hand but he has a regular cape and it's a bit wider than the minifigure arms you can see it stretches out over his shoulders and my custom mandalorian luke has a mandalorian cape quite fitting actually for his appearance in the mandalorian but i think it's such sleeker and i can definitely see what lego are doing with the wider cape trying to fit them over the minifigure arms but because of how you connect them to the minifigure, they just stick out the back and they don't really go around the minifigure. So I think the closest we can get is the Mandalorian capes. And if they've used this for Darkseid Ray, there is hope for all the Jedi we get from Revenge of the Sith next year. But then again, Cal Kestis minifigure for the upcoming Star Destroyer didn't come with his iconic poncho. So how many Jedi are we actually going to get with a cape? And how many are going to have theirs printed? So I have very briefly touched about the arm printing on Luke Skywalker. But what about arm printing on our favourite clone troopers? Because we have got arm printing on Rex already and on Fives, which was an anniversary minifigure and Rex is from the UCS Venator. I have suddenly become as white as the clone troopers. But how long do you think it will be before we get arm printing and all the rest of our clone troopers. I'm speaking about the regular phase two clone troopers and phase one because that would be a massive upgrade. But how far can we go with clone troopers? We've recently got toe printing. We've got karma printing. I would love to see some side of the leg printing just for the karmas. No extra details. They don't need to add any extra lines or any other boot patterns. I would love to see some side of the leg printing for the karmas so that our minifigures can have customs they can also use custom clone karmas if you do really want that authentic karma look. But you can sit them down in vehicles and still see the karmas on the side. Perhaps they could even dual mold it and try to print the white on the front. Though with Lego's history, that might not be as easy. And whilst we're speaking of improving clone troopers, an easy fix you can make to your old clone troopers, stormtroopers, and most of your minifigures is replacing the black hips with white ones. But back to legs for just a moment. Lego's astromech droid is a beloved character that hasn't really been changed. And I would love for the legs to be made half a stud 
thinner so that this similar to the minifigures only takes up the three studs i think the feet are a bit too bulky for my liking perhaps they could even inverse the feet and have the feet pointing inwards but a load of people have attempted to create a astromech third leg and honestly i think i've perfected it so all you're gonna need is your astromech and then one of these frying pan studs you can see it's the stud with the bar on the end of it and also one of these round tiles and you're going to want to clip this so that the flat side is pointing away from the bar and then this slots into your astromech depending on which side you want it displayed from depends which side you clip it around but as you can see we have a third leg for this astromech droid and i think this looks really really cool you can then display them perhaps you've done this for r2 and you want to display him on the tantive or Perhaps you want to do this with a few of your droids on your minifigure displays. I think this makes a really cool third leg. It's got some different angles in it so that you can position it really any way you like. And as you can see, I think this is the perfect third leg for Astromex. So we've covered a lot of upgrades for named characters such as Padme and Antilles at the start. And then we had our Yoda torso. We've had Luke, Ray, a few of the named clones. What about the minifigures that don't get names. I'm speaking mostly about, well, about the Mandalorians here and the two from the recent Mandalorian Ambush Battle Pack, which looks so close to Axe Woes and Cosca Reeves. I would have loved a slightly more accurate torso and helmet combination, and then they could have given them heads and alternate hair pieces perhaps the mandos can still remain unnamed they are still blue mandalorians i'm pretty sure the pattern that lego have used only shows up once in the show but it would have given us the opportunity to grow our mandalorian covert or our mandalorian gang at this point and not only have two more mandalorians but two new named characters that i suppose you could make customs of like i did anyway and the shorts are up for both of them but we've had so many unnamed mandalorians i feel like we did definitely need two of these unnamed ones perhaps they could have whacked Cosca reeves and axe woves in a set like paz versus moth but really with the build and the price that that is already costing you they really need their own set but we finally got head and hair in a handful of sets for Din Djarin, the Mandalorian and we get ahead with the new Boba Fett which I really like the one they gave us in the mech so hopefully this is something we see more often in the future of Lego Star Wars. Now the next one is something that I've already spoken about in my custom Clone Wars season one sets and it is some more molded parts for Star Wars specifically heads for the IG units. I'd love to see them molded, not quite like some of the customs you see where they can spin, but just a specific molded head that matches the shape. And it's something they probably would have done for the Moss Isley Cantina Master Builders series because that had the biggest budget out of any set that that sort of shape has come in. And we didn't even get any printed pieces for the bar area. But next time we see any IG units, I would love for them to do printed helmets. And similar to that, well, printed heads, they're not really helmets for the droids, but similar to that droid wavelength, Yang needed a custom molded head. Honestly, they could have whacked him on a droid torso and legs with droid arms. They could have given us some sort of backpack which clipped onto the back of the droid body. And we could have even got a custom karma to put around his waist. But I'd love to see some more molded droid parts specifically for characters like the IG units and Yang. And I guess the alternate version for the clones of that is hair pieces. Lego went through all this effort of giving us a custom printed head four clone trooper fives here and then didn't give us a hairpiece so we were unable to show off that really good face printing i guess rex is the only other one that's had specific no commander cody also has his own head print with no hair to match rex makes sense he barely has any hair on his head anyway and if they gave him a hairpiece i guess it would cover up the scar on the side of his head but cody five really need some hair pieces there are a bunch to choose from Perhaps Lego couldn't settle on one hairpiece, so they 
didn't give us any, but that doesn't really sound like they thought about the hair pieces much. So I have added my own custom hair pieces for Fives, as you can see, and Cody, and I think Lego really need to include them in a set soon. Who knows, maybe we'll see Cody in a Microfighter ATT walker next year. That is the 10 improvements I'd make to Lego Star Wars minifigures at the minute. Let me know what your favorite is down in the comments. I'm sticking with that Yoda. A Yoda minifigure that size of the Maggie Simpson would be amazing. And I think that would make most sets worthy of a day one pickup, as long as they're not a similar price to the Grievous Starfighter and the Justifier that Cad Bane came in for Bad Batch Season 2. If you want to know about the leaked Bad Batch Season 3 or the rumoured Bad Batch Season 3 set, check out my recent leaks video. And that is all from me today. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like and hit subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on the next video. And may the bricks be with you always.